hell is love. Before being able to imitate love with poetry, I had the tongue of a son no older than six years of age. A time where love on TV confused me, but my mother's kisses were, were warm. Her love was all I knew till age 10, when a girl older than me told me she loved me and kissed me. Her lips tasted like the root beer soda she drank beforehand. Till this day, I hate root beer. <laughs> At 11, Maria loves me, but I love my older brother's friend. Never got her name right, but I felt she was the one I wanted to spend my park strolls with. At 13, I hated school, but loved my English teacher, Miss Carnegie. Beautiful woman with the loveliest locks of hair. I want to believe she's the reason I started writing poetry more seriously for her to one day read them. At 15, I remembered I had a high school love named Candace. At 16, we broke up and I'm loved enough to catch my new girl Kimberly sleeping with some other man. I remember to break his ribs. <laughs> At 18, me and Candace are on and off while I'm physically loving other women in between the breaks and Teresa ends up pregnant. At 19, the daughter I love passes and Teresa disappears. At 20, I've been cheated on by a woman whose name I can't remember but told me that love isn't love unless you hurt someone. At 21, I marry Candace for good. At 22, she feels she wasn't ready for this kind of love. At 23, I found out it's because a friend makes more money than me that her love changed. At 23, again, we split in time to hear she's pregnant. It isn't mine. At 24, I feel I never truly learned the emotional aspect of love and instead sink my ignorance into random sexual encounters to find it. At 25, I breathe an adult with very little definition of what love truly is. There's only so much I can say with a quarter of a century etched within my DNA. One thing is for certain, love doesn't love me, or at least not yet. <laughs>